Well, hi YouTube. I'm in the process of uh, layouting a PCB. It's the PCB for my, well, uh, weekend project, which is uh, an infrared transceiver module uh, with a an USB option. That means you can attach the module to the PC and uh, use another module to communicate with it. Sort of, sort of like uh, if I have a microcontroller application or yeah, probably another PC. Um, the data rate is very limited, of course. It has uh, only about uh, 2,400 bots available. And the funny part about it will be well, mounting a high-level protocol on top of this infrared uh, thingy. So with three trans transmissions and uh, real checksums, that's, that's what I do anyway. Uh, this is the schematic. Uh, whereas that, this is the microcontroller, it's an Atmega 8. Uh, this is the FT232 uh, used for communication with USB. The whole thing is working over on UART. Um, of course, the whole thing works over on UART, so this is uh, the interface, which you can see here. You can use the UART interface uh, to communicate with the whole board. It has a stabilized uh, power supply, however you can choose, well, USB power or you can give it power over this connector so that you have, a, a, at last, you have, no, you have four power sources because you can also use in-circuit programming power, but, well, this is a little special, so, and after all, you have three power sources available. Uh, this is the whole uh, communication part of the thing. Uh, this is where data comes in. It has a, a receiver module, an IR a receiver module, which is a TSOP 1736, and this is an infrared LED for outgoing data. So there will be a 36 kilohertz uh, frequency, and the data will be modulated onto this freque frequency. Um, it's quite powerful, so I used the 100 milliamperes to uh, drive. Uh, the LED, which is which is quite much, and I also have uh, mounted a dual LED, which the one I showed you uh, a few days ago. This one that can change its color. Let's see how it, how we can use it here. And of course, uh, you can uh, set up an ad address, uh, meaning that if you use multiple modules, uh, of course it should be possible to establish connections to uh, several modules, like working with an address. So this should be possible. That's the whole thing. This is the board again. Uh, as you can see, there's still some unrouted uh, signals because uh, the, l the last 20 or so signals always get a little hard to do. So this is what I'm doing right now, so it's not quite finished yet. Uh, this is the microcontroller. <coughs> this is TSOP module. And this is the sending infrared LED. And this is the FT232 connection to the USB jacket, which is here. Those are status LEDs. Yeah. I want some finished, and I've got something more to show to you. I'll do so. And, uh, of course, it's quite tricky because, as I told it, as I told you, the, uh, the whole thing will work with, uh, uh, say, data packages which can be retransmitted in, a in case of an error. So you have uh, a communication protocol on top of this thing uh, that is uh, bidirectional. It's half duplex, so it's only possible to either send or receive, not both at the same time. However, the whole thing works in two directions. So, yeah, I think this is, this is quite a cool project and you can put it to good use, especially because the whole thing is very low cost. So, using uh, well, a module like Zigbee, Wi-Fi, or Bluetooth module costs 30 or 40 bucks. So, this is very much, uh, very, it's less uh, cost uh, intensive. So, thanks for watching one more time, and I'll keep you up to date.